What's up? Blockchain Army is back again with some updates from the global crypto news that came out just a week before. There might be some interesting stuff you wanna know. Take a seat and let's go over this week weekly spotlight together. Firstly, for all the watch lovers out there, you now have more chance to own a luxurious second-hand watches to wrap around your wrist. A German online platform that sells hundreds of thousands of watches has observed that the recent decrease in the price of crypto assets had a direct impact on the pricing of luxury watches, from Rolex to Pante Flip and similar brands. The supply of these watches is now significantly larger, according to the segment from the culture-based Porno24, which was cited by Bloomberg. He went on to say that the crypto market crash is making it easier to find the most popular models on the used market. The service state that the market for used luxury watches is beginning to slow down as evidenced by the declining price of the most sell after watches. Prior to this, rising cryptocurrency price has caused the emergence of new class of affluent consumers and a spike in the cost of models from the most prestigious brands. Some may feel really lucky to be able to purchase the first class watches for a lower price, but it seems that no luck was sent to Jeremy and Jerry. Jeremy McBlain and Yachari Mata were found guilty of security fraud and gave sentence of 3 years and 2.5 years in prison, respectively, according to the statement issued by the U.S. Attorney Office in California. My Alvin and Mata formed Drop Hill, a cryptocurrency startup based in Belize but operating out of the Fulton Valley, California during the 2017 crypto ICO mania. Drop Hill developed DEX, an automated trading bot that uses like Drop an on-coin named Drop and a cryptocurrency trading platform. According to the press announcement, McAlpine, Matter, and Propio make a series of misleading claims to investors, stating that they could reveal yearly returns of 24 to 63 percent. They also failed to register Drop with the Security and Exchange Commission. After receiving full provenance, McAlpine and Matter manufacturers fake DEX profitability reports giving the fair appearance that the deck was operational and profitable, and produced additional fictitious documents stating that Ruby has raised $54 million from 34,000 investors, when it had actually raised less than $2 million from fewer than 2,500 investors. Next up, Colombia seems to have an idea that is worth their why. As part of the strategy to address unfair land distribution practices that have resulted in decades of armed conflict, the Colombian government has established a corporation with Rubble Lab, the firm behind the cryptocurrency ERP, to put land titles on the blockchain. Property titles will be authentically and permanently stored on Ripple Ledger, the business public blockchain, as part of the initiative developed by Persis Technology, a blockchain development company. According to Ripple Labs and Persis Technology, this will aid in the eliminations of red tape and ideally lead to a more equitable distribution of land. The South American nation has some of the highest level of land ownership concentration anywhere in the world. The unequal distribution of lands was the primary cause of Colombia's civil war, which lasted from 1964 until a peace agreement in 2016, and saw leftist guerrilla organizations take up arms against the government. While some are trying to create a better world, some are causing more problems. We don't know if Kim K is guilty for that yet, but check this out. Ethereum Massive, the cryptocurrency recently promoted by the few wealthy athletes and celebrities. In a class action complaint, at least 9 investors, including Kim Kardashian, are demanding restoration from the celebrity in question. The claim that billionaire society Kim Kardashian supported the Pum Dum token is still being fought by her. Her alternates attempt to have a case against her dropped on Friday by filing a motion in the US District Court in California. According to the lawsuit, the plaintiff's experience investment losses in blame social media posts on the Ethereum Max made by celebrities. And lastly, another hack. Last Tuesday night, an identified hacker stole Solana and UADC value at at least $4 million from hundreds of wallets. The bridge, we were still active at 8pm PSD, appeared to come from the Pantone wallet on the Solana browsers and it was hard to have compromised user keys. It might have involved C-Prays that were reused by several wallets on various chains. Together, engineers from around the internet, including the blockchain other than Solana, were attempting to identify the root cause of the vulnerability and its scope. A representative for the Ethereum wallet, MetaMask, said, We are actively communicating with the affected wallet teams to offer our help and monitor if there is anything we can do to keep our users safe. 
Like the explanation for why thousands of Solana users lost over 4.5 million dollars worth of song and other tokens between Tuesday night and early Wednesday has already emerged. A private key attack linked to the mobile app wallet slow. It appears affected addresses were at one point imported, created, or used in the slow mobile wallet applications, according to the preliminary result provided on Wednesday afternoon by the official Solana State Twitter account. We was developed in consultants with developers and security experts. You guys, that's all we have for this week. Here's all the news from all over the world in the week that we combined to give you a general idea of what's happening in the cryptocurrency industry. There isn't much for me to comment on, but one thing is for sure, the expansion of crypto in the world is and will be facing numerous obstacles. But it's a good thing that the country are making sure the use and the power of crypto doesn't get out of hand. If you find this interesting, you can always check out our daily news at brme.space, where you will see crypto updates every day. Thank you for your support.